Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Broad Acres. Now then, I was commenting yesterday on the texture here that's on the soil and then on the cultivated ground as well. It turns out that this is just the chopped straw add-on. So there's a layer of chopped straw across the map and it should be adding in some chopped straw for us. Uh, so it should be adding in like a layer of fertilizer. Now I do have the settings on here set to, let me just make sure, yes, fertilizer states one. Um, I've also got helper refill for all of those. Now for whatever reason it's not actually cultivating it in. I have been and tested this with a number of different cultivators and it's not doing it. Um, but it's, it's not doing it at all. It's not cultivating it in here and it's also not doing it with a seed drill either. So there isn't actually, it's, it's not the map that's doing this, okay? I just want to point this out, that there's not a problem with the map. I've got close to 200 mods from ModHub, well, mostly from ModHub. The ones that aren't in ModHub are listed down below. But, um, yeah, I've got close to 200 mods on here. Well, actually, okay, uh, pro probably like 100, but anyway, i got lots. Let's, let's just call it lots and we'll leave it at that, okay? Um, I've got lots and lots and lots of mods on this map, and one of those mods is going to be causing this slight little issue. So we're not, not very concerned about it, but what I am going to do is rather than cultivating this field after it's been ploughed, which I know is, you know, it's, it's kind of what you would normally do. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start planting it instead because we've done the cultivations and we couldn't, we, we can't do ploughing because it's already been ploughed. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, drill this field with seed. I'm going to just, let me just get rid of this one a minute. So we'll sell that one there, yes. And then we're going to go, oh, hang on a minute, go back to the garage and look in here. Look at all the different stuff that this thing can hold. That is just fan schmabulous. There is, <laughs> look at it all. There's loads of stuff. Right, anyway, <laughs> um, I, I yeah, it's, it's just like, I'm, I'm like a kid at Christmas when I'm looking around this map. It's absolutely brilliant. So we have got a, a little tiny Cavernland over here. This one doesn't actually hold any fertilizer, but we could plant any one of these items here. Now, this one here just does the bog standard four. Um, this one here could take fertilizer and it does all of those. That's a three meter one. This one's a three meter as well. So we've got a tiny little one here, this Great Plains one, and we could put some carrots or I think that's onions. I don't know what all the rest of these are. No, oh, that's oats. That's got to be oats. Um, is it rye, triticale? I don't really know. Hang on. Let, I'll tell you what. I know how we can find out. If we press, uh, just press escape a minute, we've, oh, it tells us what the actual symbols are right here. We can see. So we've got rye, we've got oats, we've got triticale, we've got cotton, onions, carrots, and millet. I don't actually know what millet is. I've never done millet. I've, I've never used millet. I've, I don't know what millet is. I've, I've not, not a clue on that one. Um, however, I'm thinking carrots or onions. I'm thinking, let's go for carrots. Carrots could be good. We could plant this entire field with carrots and then we could go through and harvest all the carrots later on. So yeah, we'll go and get the Great Plains seed drill and I'm not going to jump up there with the big bud. I'm actually going to jump up there with the Valtra instead. So we'll buy that one just like that and back out a minute. Now, if I cycle through our vehicles a second, here we go, we'll go to this one. Um, then we want to teleport up, and we've got some markers up here now. We've got where that one is, and we've got that one down there. I want to just kind of put it in between the two, and that jumps us right into the middle of the yard. Perfect, look at that. So, yeah, we will keep that um, Fiat tractor over there so that we can use that as a second marker so that we know exactly where to teleport our tractor to whenever we leap up to this end of the map. Now... As you've noticed, I'm not asking a weekly question this week. I just want suggestions for different things that we can do, different things that we can try out on the map. I will go back to doing questions next week. I realize it's been two weeks that I haven't asked a question on the Unrealistic series, um, but we will go back to doing that again next week. So let me just teleport this one back down to the big field, and I'll put it right down in this corner down here. Um, get rid of the map a minute whiz around here so what i'm going to do is hang on i need to press y so we go through this is barley that's um canola beans oilseed radishes grass and then what we got that's oats that one is i don't actually know um let me go to let me go to my list i can consult my list here no i don't want growth i want fruit types right so uh rye by the look of it that one's got to be rye and then we go again that's the the other one whatever the other one is uh, triticale, and then it'll be millet, and then it'll be cotton. 
So it should, that's triticale, that's millet, that's cotton, that's carrots, and that's onions there. So I want to go to carrots. That's what we're going to plant on here. We still have to cotton, so we want carrots. And we are going to plant this entire map with carrots. Now, I'm not going to use the Valtra. I said that I would use the Big Bud to do this, and that is what I intend to do. I'm just going to unhitch this one right here. Um, incidentally, we did find a collision there on that gate, didn't we? But um, looking... That is a known fault, and that is being dealt with in the next update. So, um, yeah, until the next update, if you're playing as realistically, uh, just don't buy field... Uh, what field is this? Field 14, yeah. You can get into field 13, you get all the others, so there's been more than enough to keep you going on this map. Um, it's just you can't quite get into there because there's a, a stretched collision or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the, the details were of it, but it's, um, it's definitely not working quite as intended just yet. So we're going to go racing up here. You may have noticed in the top left-hand corner, we currently have Pigs Animals 5000. I said originally that we would start off on this map, we'd get something going, and then we would look at pigs first. That's the first thing that we're going to do. Now, I'd like to get a minimum of 10,000 pigs on here. I'm actually thinking that 25,000 pigs would be better. Um, I did actually intend to take a look at the buy bales mod today and see if I could alter the capacities on the bales to um, give us some options for some 1 million litre uh, one million liter bales. I don't know if I can do that. I will take a look at it. I didn't. I ran out of time for today, so I wasn't able to do it for today. Um, so it's on my to-do list to get 1 million litre capacity bales that I can just go and buy from the shop and bring them over. Um, doesn't really matter about how much it costs. You'll also see that we're up to $800 million because Daddy wired us the funds last night to save me having to press another, f do another 500 button presses in game. I, so I modified the file when I added the pigs in because it takes so long to put the pigs into the game. I thought, well, I'll just, if I just do it like that, it'll make life so much easier. And yeah, I can't see that anybody is going to worry about that too much. So we'll send this one down here. I'm just going to press H and he should buy fertilizer. Um, yeah, fertilizer and seed. He should just buy the whole lot as he goes right the way up across the field. And we are planting. And yes, that is fertilized ground as well. So that one's away. We're planting carrots. And... I get the feeling that this could take a while. <laughs> it's going to take more than a little while. Uh, plant growth is on slow and withering is off. Fortunately, withering is off because it is going to take us a little bit of time to get this field done. If we just let this load in a moment. Actually, I don't want to load that in. I want to go to growth. Actually, I want to go to uh, fertilized first. It takes this long to load each time because the map is so big. It takes this long to load in each time. So if we can just take that there and we can zoom right in, you can see we're going to full fertilizer state because we've got the fertilizer in the seed drill. Um, and that is planting carrots. So if we just reload again, that'll be growth stage one on there. And then we can move it back through again and we'll be able to see that is. Yep, see, there we go. We've got growth stage one. There's a little line there that has been cultivated from previously. And then we go here, we'll have a nice orange stripe coming up through with our carrots. There we go. The first line of carrots. Now you can see how long that has taken to get to this point, just from here to here on this map. And if I zoom all the way out, you can sort of get an idea of the scale. And you can sort of see it going past in the background there. This is going to take a little bit of time, isn't it? Just, just the teensiest smidgens. Just a little bit. And it's going to be fantastic. This is going to be absolutely incredible. So I'm just going to... No, I don't want the Road Rage. I want the Valtra S series a minute. And what I want to do is I'm going to teleport this one just outside because we can't use the gate at the moment. So I just want to move this one out of the way. I'm going to put it in the other field, actually. Um, I want to press there, and then I want to go there. And if I jump that one down into the field there, that'll be out of the way. So we can use it should we need to go and get some other machinery. So let me leap out of that tractor a moment. And I got like that. We'll come back and check on the big bud in a minute and see how it's getting on. But first, we're going to take this one and we're going to go and take a look at our pigs. Now, you may have noticed I did do a little bit of troubleshooting. I actually spoke to Ben, the creator of the map, about this car catching on the track and it turns out that it's not the track the collision at all it's actually the car because if you have a look if i can just get it to 
just inch back just a tiny bit. There we go, it's done it on that side. The wheels on this car don't actually have any collisions, so it's the car, not the map, once again. The majority of issues that may arise during this playthrough are almost certainly down to mod error or mod conflict. The map has been so extensively tested over every inch of it that it's a genuine surprise when there is actually an error with the map show up. Now, we did have the, um, the field boundary came up yesterday. That is a known error and the collision in gate on field 14 there um that is also it is field 14 isn't it yes field 14 um that is also a known error those two those two faults are the only errors that i've sort of seen so far um anything else that we get in the near future is almost definitely down to us like this whole thing with the chopped straw the chopped straw was working fine in all testing it's just not shown up very well it's, it's not working properly for us, so there's something conflicting here somewhere. But i got so many mods running, um, you know, just like the, the AI vehicle extensions and um, all the different mods that I've added into the game. So you can even just add in different tracks and stuff, they can cause conflicts. And I've also got like creator tools and um, various ones like that, follow me, glance, and one of those could very very easily be making a slight change it is conflicting slightly with the um uh the, what do you call it the um the chop straw it's a one of them could be conflicting very easily with the chop straw and that's what's causing it so i'm not going to worry about it i'm not going to get upset about it and i'm certainly not going to um get annoyed or anything like that because there's little point we know that it is down to one of our mods that is causing it so we just move on and we do it differently um right we've got here a feed bin now i don't actually know how to use this because i haven't taken the time yet to properly read all of the manual so that's something that i really should do i really should read the manual however one thing that we do need to do is we need to get some water in for the pigs because the pigs have got nothing at the moment We've got 5,000 pigs and there is no, there's, there's nothing in here at all. I'm, like I said, I'm going to increase this, um, but we're going to need corn, we're going to need wheat and barley, canola and so on. So we're going to have to find sources of food for them. I mean, we could just go and buy a load of pig food. That's one of my first options is to go and buy a load of pig food, but we need straw and we need water as well. So water is going to be our first call of action that's that's going to be our first port of call today uh where do we put the water in i think the water i'm not sure what those bins are i think maybe they're a mixed feeder of some sort i like but i don't know and like i said i haven't read the manual yet and i really should because with a map this size th with this much detail reading the manual is kind of important so i don't actually know if the trigger for that water trough can be reached from out here or if we need to go inside the field I can find that one out fairly quickly, and we're going to. I'm just going to go and park this car over here. Um, I was actually planning to park that a little bit more sort of um, cool than that. It was it was, it was, was going to be a lot, a lot more sort of suave and, um, you know, kind of like you see on those awesome YouTube videos where the, the drivers that can, like, flip the car around and do anything with them. So let's try that again. Nope, not quite. Oh, so you're supposed to go in sideways. You're supposed to go in sideways and slide to a halt against the fence and just like look like um, I'd, I'd been parked there for ages. Right, okay, so just just pretend I did that rather than me just messing around like this. Um, now, what I want is a very particular, very specific lorry. I want this one. And I don't know if this one actually takes water or not. Now, this is the toll truck that takes the fuel, but we can easily find out if this one takes it. Uh, I need to go to uh, now toll. I know that we've got in a custom road train pack. There is um, some water in there. Uh, you know, I don't actually know which one I'm looking for. Maybe it's under miscellaneous. We do have the crass hopper. I will be using that one for cows later on when we come to cows. Um, LS. Oh, that's the that's the one there. That's the um, the cattle truck that was added in. I don't know with a cattle drove a trailer. Animals are transported over short distances from A to B. I don't know how many you can put in there, but it's a big it's a, a big trailer. Um, ah, here we go. Toll fuel tanker. Oh, it only takes fuel. Right. That's a bit of a nuisance. I wanted it to take water. Right. Change of plan. We're going to go into the custom road train pack right over here, and we're going to get the tankers now we've got you got bulk transporters here those are that's 40k and that one's also 40k 
both the same size. I didn't ex expect that. Right, so we've got 40,000 litres on that one. That one there is 60,000 litres. This takes all of it. This takes digestate. It takes fertiliser. Um, it takes milk. It takes slurry. I don't know what that one is. It takes fuel and it takes water. Yeah, what is that one? I don't actually know what that one is, but it's, it's probably something that's added with this map rather than anything else. So we're going to take a tanker B trailer. And what colour should we go for? Ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go for pink. We're going to go for very, very pink. Right, generic fuel decals, shell, Caltex, BP. B Let's go for British Petroleum. I am British, and I realise that we're playing in Australia. So what do you guys have in Australia? Let me know. Oh, hang on. Do you have mobile in um, Australia? I don't know. I'm going to go for BP for now. And attachers plus trailer hitch. Wheel setup. Let's go for wide tyres. So I only actually want one of those. It's the other ones that I'm going to need a lot of. It's this one here. So we're going to go for the um, the bright schnazzy pink again. And wheel setup is going to be white tyres. I'm going to put on a trailer hitch just in case I want it. And I'm going to go for BP decal again. And buy. Right, I reckon that we should go for a couple of these at least. Um, what do you class as a couple these days? I'm not sure how many I've got now. That'll probably do. Let's try that. Now, the lorries that we've got, I'm not sure they're going to be man enough to do this job, so we're going to need something a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go into trucks here, and I'm going to go up through, and I'm going to get my favourite one, which is not the Lizard Sencor. It's actually this one here, the Lizard TX415. Now, this one has 3,200 horsepower. It's been seriously souped up. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the Kenworth here... Actually has 1,600 horsepower. Okay, I'm going to try the Kenworth. I'm going to see what this one's like. I mean, it might not quite compare to the one that we've got, um, it, the, the one that we've used previously, but I reckon it's still got a good chance. So, um, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, that is so, that is brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, I've got to find a water point now on this map. Before we do that, let's just go and check on the big bud. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. It's, it's just gone past halfway. <laughs> this is... I really don't think, unless we run this particular series to like 150 episodes, I don't think it's ever going to finish planting this field. I think it's I think it's going to be a, like a pretty much impossibility for finishing. This is brilliant. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is this is just this is going to make my day. This is so we'll keep an eye on this one. Even if we've manually got to help it turn at the end of every single row, it's probably only going to happen like once or twice in every episode. And if you take a look at the scale of the map. And then you sort of scale that with um, the width, width of the machine that's running at the moment. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely... I mean, look at it. That's got to be like 200 passes across the field at least. And this is how long it's taking for a single pass. This, this is amazing. I, I absolutely love this. Right. Um, there was something else. I want to find a water point. I need to find a water fill point. Where do I find a water fill point? Now, that is more of a serious question i mean we've got fuel over there we've got fuel over there so maybe there's some fuel water around here somewhere i'll tell you what if i go to let's go and take a look at this one a minute let's jump out and ooh, uh okay everything's big and confusing i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to my car a minute uh, i'm gonna take this one so uh let me head south a second and just see if there's water down there it really, it really would be useful if I knew where the water was, and then we can, like, transport it. I mean, I suspect that with the number of pigs we got, we really just want to put a placeable next to the pigs and do it from there. Uh, however, I'm thinking that just to start with, just for the first load, I'd like to at least transport some water from somewhere else and give this... Go ooh. ooh! Ooh, ooh, Is there... There's water there. Can we, can we access that water? Is that the water that we can use to fill? Now, we've got a shell tank over here, but I'm thinking that's, that's a fuel filling point. We've got a grain storage of various types here. And, yeah, there's no way I'm getting across that with this car, is there? So let's have a little spin around the yard here and see if there's anything that we can find. We've got various, more various storage things. Um, the cows is over there. 
We go this way, maybe. And whiz across the track. Uh, don't think that's water. Well, we're getting a good look at this place anyway, so you can sort of see all the different bits that are laid out. Well, what do we got here? And this is caution. Liquid fertilizer not fit for drinking. Well, that's great and all. So we got liquid fertilizer here. Is that like where you can go and buy liquid fertilizer? I mean, if it is, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. And then we got more fuel here. Another fuel fill point. And we got a BGA here with, look at the silage clamps. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, 20 silage clamps. 20! That's like, you, you understand this, 20 silage clamps. Now, the silage clamps at the BGA standard, uh, look at those. Look at the number of ones that you can keep filled. This is phenomenal. There's just so much stuff. I mean, yeah, you're finding things all the time on here, aren't you? Um, so the standard silage clamps, you're looking at, uh, is it? Two, I think it's 2 million litres for each one. So, I mean, if there's 20 on there, you've got 40 million litres. Uh, it, may it may be more than that. It may be um, 3 million litres, in which case you've got um, 60 million litres. Oh, what's this? Uh, is that water? No, actually, I think that's uh, another storage area. Where do I find the water? I'm going to have a hunt around and see if I can find water. It's probably here somewhere very easy to find, and if I was just read the manual, I'd probably be able to find it very, very easily. So, yeah, go on. If, you, if you're going to play this for yourselves, take the time to read the manual. It's so... Oh, hang on. I thought I seen something back there. It's, yeah, definitely take the time to read the manual for this game because, I mean, obviously, if you don't, there's going to be so much that you're missing and so many... You just spend ages trying to find different points, and it, it's going to get, it's going to frustrate you. So, um, there it is. That is water. That is a water fill point right there. So, if we can bring our lorry down here, where the car is, that's what, that's where you know we can find it. So, let me go. I want to go this way a minute. We're approaching the end. The end of the field is actually in sight. I'm going to go, and I'm going to start hitching up that Kenworth lorry onto all of the trailers and when I've got them all lined up ready to go hopefully this big bud will be ready to go as well and we are approaching the end I've still got quite a few um, things to hitch up so we can see if this one is actually going to be able to manage the turn itself yes it is it's stopping already hopefully it will turn the right way this is the the next crucial issue is is it is it going to try to turn the right way oh no it's not done it the triple tyres have confused it. Now what, what, now what are you doing? Right, so far it's just confusing itself. And help us see it's blocked by an object. It didn't like it. Right, that's fair enough. You'd kind of expect that. The triple wheels, it doesn't like it for the turn. So we need to do this ourselves and bring it back round. And then we can line it up and let it carry right on again. So if I can bring that one in there, I think that's roughly lined up it's close enough put that one going there and it's away planting his second run of carrots so even i don't mind if we if we've got to do that every time then so be it but i mean if we do find that we're having to do that a little bit what we might do is we might just get a great big seed drill and do one pass along the edge of the field up there just to sort of mark it out and then it will be able to do its own turning without any problems at all but we've done a full pass across the field. I'm going to go and finish hooking up the Kenworth, and then we can take some water down to the pigs. I've just got one more to hook on, and it's a glorious-looking road train. I love the pink. I really love the hot pink colour. This is absolutely fantastic. It's just a shame we couldn't colour the truck to go with it. That would have been better. Actually, we'll take a look at that in a minute and just see if we can. Can, can we do that? Can we get a Kenworth with... No, we don't. There's, there's no colour options available. That's a real shame, that is. Uh, this one is 950 horsepower and does 65k. This one does 90k and is 1600 horsepower. This one here, I'm pretty sure I actually made it go faster than the 80 kilometres an hour. But I can't actually remember. So maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But, I mean, we can, we can always try getting one to go a little bit faster than either of these at the moment. Uh, but for now, we will just stick with this one. And we'll go with that. So let me just get this last trailer on the front. And then we will see if we can actually get this thing out of the dealership here and on and around the town. 
we may not even be able to get it out the gate, in which case we're going to have to teleport it down into the middle of a field somewhere and try to get out that way. Um, I, I don't, we, we ought to be able to get out somewhere. There, there, there has got to be a way that we can escape and we can carry on. And then we've just got to get it next to a water fill point. And if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure there is actually quite a few of those water fill points in various different places around the map. Look at it. This is brilliant. We've got, what have we got? One, two, three, seven tankers all together. This thing is brilliant. Oh, I absolutely love this. The hot, the, it's the hot pink. It's the hot pink that does it for me. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. What an absolutely gorgeous looking vehicle. This is awesome. So all we got to do is get this thing down there. We get them loaded with water. Now, I think that the water fill is going to take a little while. It's going to take a while to sort of load these up. So in future, what we might do is um, do the little trick that we did with the last version um, in Texas, where we just got a whole load of... Um, can I even get out of here? I can get with some of them. I think the, trailer, the back trailers can get stuck, isn't it? Is it? We did it. It actually fit. Well, I never. I did not expect that. So now we've got to just bring it on round. Um, we should be okay for this. I hope. Uh, yeah, so in Texas, what we ended up doing was we placed a water placeable right next to the fill point. And then we had a trailer next to it. And we had it filling and emptying at the same time. And so it just continuously fed water into the animals. So we may very well end up trying to do that in the future. I mean, if we're going to go all the way up to 25,000 pigs, we're probably going to need to do that. Now, I am curious about one thing. You've got all these sell points here. You can buy, you, this is where you can sell all the different um, crops. There's loads of them. Loads and loads and loads of them all the way down through. You bring your crops up through here and you can sell them direct to these various different sell points. So let me just show you on here a minute. This, um, we've got 7,000 of each of those. We don't have any other crops in here at the moment. Um, and this is the sell values here. So yeah, we don't have very much of anything at the moment. And we need to give pigs pretty much something of everything that's available. Which means we're going to have a little bit of an issue trying to get them some food. And there isn't currently a mod, I don't think, that you could just go and buy grains. Which is a little bit of a shame. It would be nice if there was a way that you could do that. But it doesn't matter. We can get around it. There's, a, there's plenty more ways of doing it. And so what I'm thinking is we will, first of all, we will just do it with standard pig food. And we will try later on to feed the pigs with um, all of the grains as normal. But that's sort of going to be something that we do later rather than just yet. Now, at the moment, we've managed to build up to about 57 kilometers an hour. So, I mean, we're doing all right. Really, we want a bit of a faster lorry. I, I do want to get... I might take this one and just um, tweak the speed and the power a little bit, just so as it goes a little bit faster. Because, quite frankly, if, we, if I was playing this for myself, if I was going to settle down and spend a good few hours playing on a map and play it for myself, um, yes, I would probably go for raise, you know, fairly realistic sort of stuff. But I'm not doing that, am I? I'm not doing that. I'm playing completely unrealistic, and so I'm going to keep my playthrough unrealistic. I don't want normal speeds. It takes too long. I don't want to have to spend ages and ages driving around the map. And the unfortunate effect with this map, I love that we've got all the collisions on the fences. I think that's absolutely great. It's a really nice touch because it adds a bit more of a, a depth, a bit more of a challenge to us because we didn't have that very much on the Texas map. So now we've got this and we kind of sort of work around it, which um, it's, it's very interesting. And it, like I said, it adds more to the gameplay. However, the only issue with that is that we've got to be a bit careful, especially, I mean, some vehicles we can just chuck them into the middle of a field and it's not going to be any issue. Is that poplars growing in there? It is. <laughs> That is, that's, is poplars. We, we could go and harvest all Wow. <laughs> and there's a big field of cotton there. We're going to have to get some cotton harvesting going. I don't know if I got any, I don't think I've got any mods for cotton harvesting at the moment, but um, I could certainly look into it. And then we've got a couple of pine trees here. Just a few. Just, just, yeah, just, just the odd one scattered around. So we'll look at cotton. We're definitely going to have a look at cotton. I've, I'm not aware of any mods at the moment. Um, I know that there are mods available. I just don't know any personally. So we're going to have to try and find some mods for doing the cotton. Um, so we can buy that field out. And so Actually, I might buy that field very soon. We'll buy that one if I can remember. I'll try to buy that one before the end of the episode. Uh, which is actually creeping up on us fairly quickly. I'm going to need to wrap things up in a minute. 
And uh, right, so in order to get round this corner, this one might actually be a bit of a squeeze. If I come right out round that end, which it should swing out far enough, I'm hoping. The custom road train is actually pretty good. It does tend to get round the corners quite nicely. So we've got round that bit, and now all I need to do is get from here. Oh, the, wow, the big bud is nearly halfway back. Well, it's, it's gone past the halfway back point. Uh, actually, I'm just uh, literally I'm a straight line now between here and the pigs. So I just got to keep an eye out for those little red fill points, whether there's one near the top or if I got to go right down near where the car is and fill from down there. It'll be one or the other. Then we can get these back up and we can go to the pigs and we'll see where the unload point is, whether we've got to go into the actual pig field uh, paddock. It's a paddock. If we're in Australia, it's a paddock. You've got to remember that. Um, or if we try something else. Now, Ben has requested that I attempt to spend at least one episode while I'm doing this series talking with an Australian accent. I used to live in Australia a very, very long time ago, but I was only a little nipper and um, it's, it's been many years. So this could be painfully bad um, and yes, it, it could be sort of almost embarrassing to listen to, but I will attempt it. Probably not this. I was actually thinking I would try and do it this week, but I don't think I will now. I'll probably do it next week. I'll probably do it one of the episodes next week. I will attempt to spend the entire episode talking with an Australian accent. So something for you to look forward to there. Um, well, you, you, you may or may not look forward to it, but anyway, I, that's what I will try to do. So I'm going to go and see if we can get a water fill point for a minute and start filling up these tankers. And we get these pigs some water at least. And the big question. Have I got this right? And is this water? I really hope that I do. Uh, let's bring this one up to the first tanker and... Oh, hang on. No, I need to actually have that first tanker selected, I think. There we go. Yes, it's water. We have water. That is brilliant. Not so brilliant is the speed at which this thing fills up. It's going to take a little while to get this filled. So what I'm thinking is I will do this between today and tomorrow's episode. I will get all of these tankers filled right up so that we can make our first delivery of water to the pigs. And then after that, we're going to find something else because I'm not going to sit here and run the water through for the 5,000 pigs because I'm planning to increase the number that we've got. 5,000 is what we have right now. Before we finish this series, I would like to have a minimum of 25,000 pigs. And in order to do that, it's going to take quite a bit of work. So let me go there. I wonder, can I put this on two fill points? If I if I go right in the middle there, is that going to do it on two? Go like that and then go to the next one and fill. Yes, it does, actually. Okay, so I can fill two at once. Let me carry that one on there. We're going to... Well, I'm going to get finish off doing this um, before the next episode. Uh, we're just going to go and take a look at our big buddy. He's starting to get near the other end of the field. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We will see the big bud turning down the other end at the beginning of tomorrow's episode. And we will also have the water completely full by that point as well. Uh, so until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.